Agile FM. Radio for the Agile Community. I'm your host, Joe Krebs. Agile dot FM. In this episode, I have Ward Cunningham, creator of the Wiki technology and the thinking behind the Wiki technology, as well as a signatory of the Agile Manifesto. I'm extremely um, excited to have Ward um, appear on this uh, podcast, and I hope you enjoy the conversation. Ward, well, thank you so much for um, uh, appearing on Agile FM, uh, our podcast, and uh, I want to bring uh, listeners closer to to your work. And uh, it's been a few years since you um, created the Agile Manifesto with uh, 16 others, and um, the, has directed the Agile community quite a bit, but you are actually... Um, well known for the creation of the wiki technology. That's right. You know, the, the, the two uh, kind of run together in my head because uh, Agile was about uh, a kind of, kind of uh, distributing the work and, and having uh, uh, people familiar with each other's work and, and helping each other get it done. And, and so we did that in the wiki too. And it uh, the the same things about human nature make both of them work well. Right. So what was your intent um, back then um, in 94 when you created the very, very first wiki? I mean, we have to remember this is seven years, uh, six years before the Agile Manifesto. This was a time of object-oriented analysis and design. Um, all these things were very hot topics, and um, you created a wiki. What was your intent? What was was it a tool for for yourself? Was it a tool for the organization? Did it start small and expand? What what was it? The the, the, the we had a community that was very interested in how people talked about developing software, and, and we felt that the uh, uh, the trade press and the textbooks and that didn't didn't give a very clear picture of what it was like to develop the software. And in fact, it was uh, leading us down uh, a wrong path. And and uh, we 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 uh, focused on what we thought was a very humanistic uh, 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 advice for uh, building architects called the pattern language. And so we got together a bunch of people who thought that uh, a pattern language of programming would be uh, the thing to do. Uh, we had probably 500 people on a mailing list. We uh, uh, organized uh, the the uh, POP conferences, which has a 20-year anniversary coming up this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I was the program chair of the very first POP conference, which was at the University of Illinois in 1994. Mm -hmm. And uh, after uh, uh, after uh, uh, the, our, our event, I hung around and talked to the graduate students, then graduate students at the uh, you know, helped us make the event successful. And, and they said, well, you know, we're talking about making a new literature. And have you heard of this thing called the World Wide Web? And I'd heard of it, but I never used it. I didn't know how to approach it. And they said, well, here's how you do it. And you should make your new literature be uh, a hypertext. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, this was University of Illinois, where a lot of that stuff was uh, uh, developed, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the the graphical browser and so forth. So, right. uh, so I took that seriously and, and got myself a internet connected computer and volunteered to set up what I called the Portland Pattern Repository mm -hmm. and and asked people to submit uh, patterns and you know because we had a mailing list and we just had this conference you know people were willing to give it a try but they weren't very good at following the simplest of instructions on how to format mm -hmm. I said look if you if you just get blank lines between your paragraphs I'll, I'll put the I'll put the markup in there, but they, they wouldn't even do that, you know. So I said, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a site where you can contribute your own stuff and keep contributing it until you get what you like. And uh, uh, you know, it came together in about a week. It was specifically to address this creating this literature of programming, and 
you know, I, I knew enough people to, uh, to, to coax the, the initial users, uh, mm-hmm. the, my initial authors into giving it a try. And, uh, uh it took off. You know, mm-hmm. we got a critical mass going and, and it became a place where people really wanted to be. Now, now the important thing from an agile point of view is people were there willing to talk about what it meant to develop software. And, and by talking about it, I mean not in a here's the mathematics of a computer program, but more like here's what it means to be on a team. Mm. And, and that conversation, uh, especially when you're in this environment where all of a sudden you're editing each other's stuff, you know, you had to trust each other. You're right. And, and, and so is it when you're editing each other's code, you have to trust each other. And so, so it became a big metaphor for trust and, uh, it, uh, it coaxed, uh, coaxed agile into existence, Yeah, you the, know, happened on that site. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, this is, uh, I, I always have to remind myself at what time you, uh, you introduced that. I mean, these were very, these were topics that were really out there. I mean, the HTML, the, um, the browsers were just functioning very different, and here you came with an idea of let's let's edit together. Um, what's interesting is the agile manifesto.org is not a wiki. Well, that's right. That's right. It, uh, well, you know, it. We, we uh, gosh, what was it? Five years later or something? We uh, uh, we had been successful enough promoting extreme programming, and there was another group of people doing the Scrum thing, and there were a few others. And the idea is, gee, we're all talking about the same thing, and people now understand that we're we're not talking about so-called cowboy coding. We're talking about a a, a, a very straightforward and humane way to delight customers, really, mm-hmm. you know, to get to know our customers and do what do what they need, whether they could articulate it clearly or not. Yeah. And it uh, and, and we got together and we said, well, gosh, you know, we wrote down these four things mm-hmm. and we just looked at that and they said, that is so simple. You know, we need a we need a we need a website that is a poster. You know, we were thinking of it as a poster. Mm-hmm. We had it on a whiteboard, and we just looked at it, kind of in amazement. We said, "God, that—that's it. That is—that is what unites all of us who are doing, oh, what we call lightweight methodologies before we had the name Agile." Mm-hmm. And and I said, "Well, I'll, I'll make that site," but it were, there was never an intention to be anything other than a, you know, kind of a screenshot of what was on that whiteboard. Right. In fact, I, I made the background be a picture. I just stood on a chair as we we're all looking at this whiteboard in amazement. And I just, you know, snapped a quick picture and kind of blurred it up a little bit so it wasn't really about us, but, yeah. you know, trying to capture the moment. A piece of art. Yeah. Now, uh, I just learned something that you took the picture, actually. This is a. Uh, That's right. Yeah. I, I took the picture and, and I posted the website. Now, now, it took a year or two before we actually made it possible, well, maybe six months to for inviting people to sign it, to say, well, we've signed this, and, and if you want to endorse these four principles, you're welcome to do that, too. And that was a, a, a Ruby program that Dave Thomas wrote for us and, and uh, helped me install Ruby on uh, on C2.com and, and set up a nice little workflow. And, you know, to this day, every day, I get a report of... Mm-hmm. of you know who's endorsed it and and what they said and I approve each one so it's it's not wiki in that regard either but right. it, uh, you know the, 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 the in, in the intervening in the intervening years you know this notion of spam has appeared and and uh, you know so uh, so the endorsements after there are are all moderated and uh, yeah and I do the moderation, but I also know what people are feeling like about Agile because I read every one of those endorsements. And uh, y- you know, it's uh, mm-hmm. uh, the amount of confidence that people have in what they're doing in endorsing that has changed over the years. It's, it's, yeah. it's not it's not experimental now. It's not let's give this a tr- it's a try. It's it's a uh, you know. I've been trained in this now, and, and it works, and it's in, in where have you been all my life? Right, the confidence kind of level. Thing. The confidence yeah. level is extremely high. Uh, I think we're beyond the piloting um, aspect of it, and uh, I think the manifesto has 
led us to that. Ward, I have a question to you. If you go to uh, wikipedia.org and type in Ward Cunningham and uh, you see your own personal site on Wikipedia, what, what do you feel? Oh, I'm, I'm proud of that, for sure. The, the encyclopedia people found the wiki, you know, kind of five years into our project. And, uh, and they thought, well, gosh, would this work? Who, you know, let's give it a try. You know, mm -hmm. so there's that real give it a try thing. And then they ran for another five years before they realized, oh, my God, this is important. You know, and, and we have to step up the, uh, step up the, uh, uh, the quality. Of course, one of the most dangerous things on Wikipedia is to be editing, uh, what they call biographies of, uh, living persons. Yeah. Uh, BLP for, uh, short. And, uh, one thing's for sure is that I'm not welcome editing my own page on, uh, on Wikipedia. I'm welcome editing pretty much anything else, but, uh, yeah. uh, if, uh, if some factoid gets wrong, I have to uh, quietly comment on the uh, talk page and say, oh, you know, you might, especially if I can cite something that uh, mm. that somebody else could use. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, you know, more more than having my own page up there, I, I really appreciate the fact that they kept the name Wiki. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, that's uh, that's my word. It means quick in Hawaiian, and, and uh, it sure has been quick. Yeah, no, this is, uh, but isn't that like an etiquette not to uh, author these kind of uh, sections of those pages by yourself? It's like a wiki etiquette. Well, you know, for a wiki, if you're going to have a lot of people editing, you, you've got to have kind of a charter. Yeah. And on my original wiki, it was uh, talk about what you've done. Don't talk about what you think we ought to do. Talk about what you've done and how it worked and especially how it felt. You know, did that feel, you know, you know, did, did, did your approach to programming make you feel confident or scared or whatever? Most, most trouble in computer programming comes from, you know, fear or even trying to conceal fear. You know, mm -hmm. so we just don't want people to be afraid. Yeah. But it, it, it was very much a, you know, tell us what's, what's happened, tell us what's worked. Mm -hmm. Now, on Wikipedia, they have a different set, of, a different charter in that it's a, it's a neutral point of view. You know, you have to speak with a neutral point of view, and, and uh, there's just no way an individual can be neutral when talking about themselves. Mm. So in, in the, the area of uh, biography, uh, uh, you, you don't get to write your own biography. Right. So this is, a, um, this is quite an, um, a very, very interesting comment you make about uh, Wikipedia being proud of it. You're extremely humble. I think I, I didn't do the research, but um, uh, Wik Wikipedia is in my browser even integrated. When you put oh, I know it's it, it's amazing, yeah. and and part of it is is you know every year they push the uh, the quality up level up, you know another notch, and you know it's it's a, it's an international resource. It's mm. a, uh you know it's the 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 uh, uh, the number one original content website. Wow. You know there there are more popular websites that are just kind of repeating things, but in terms of having content there to to be used, it's yeah. it's number one in the world. And you you can say that you def de created the technology, the underlying technology, uh, to it. That that's amazing. I do want to. You know the te the technology is part of it, but mostly I dared to have faith in the people on the internet. You know, and 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 that's of course, you know, you know gosh to sustain that faith anymore you know because there's so many kooks yeah and, and when you get as popular as wikipedia you know you can still log on you can you can edit that thing without being logged on uh, yeah. you know to this day and that was always something that was kind of important to me that they didn't have to know you you know you would you know you you would you would you would be either accepted or rejected based on the words you contribute. Mm. You know, it's not, that's about you. Of course, and they, they encourage you to log on. And, and I never did put a log on on, on my original wiki. And, and uh, I didn't keep a lot of uh, uh, depth or history either. So, uh, mm. so, so there's, a, there's a lot of history that Wikipedia has that I've lost. <laughs> I, I had this feeling that, that, that most computer programmers were pack rats, and, and I was going to kind of kind of fix that in them, and, and that was probably a mistake I made. I think uh, saving everything is actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Discs are bigger now. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're talking about history, and I do want to go slightly back in history, even further back than that, 
you uh, you mentioned Plop and Oopsla and, and other conferences and you're a small talker. I used to do small talk, so there's a link. Um, there is a, a lot of uh, material you have released uh, around object orientation, patterns uh, in particular. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is a lot of throwaway software development these days where, you know, get it out of the door, we'll build it again. Uh, I don't know, how do you feel about current trends or do you see those trends? Uh, and what's your answer to that with such an, um, you know, when patterns were, when patterns emerged, there was a lot about reusability and all these kind of things. How do you feel about that? Oh, I, I think, well, well, first of all, a lot of, a lot of what we were promoting with extreme programming and so forth was, was us tapping into uh, the small talk culture and, and it existed for a decade before we got involved and we were pretty in, early into it in a, in a commercial sense. Mm. Uh, but uh, uh, it had always been kind of, you know, you know, a, a, a viewed as something that be put in the hands of everybody. It was, it was kind of the people's, uh, programming language. It was meant to be small, you know, uh, oh, the phrase they had was kids of all ages, you know, that it, it would be delightful to to play with your computer. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan Kay used to say, you know, gosh, you know, a pencil is so powerful that, you know, that we put them in the hands of our children the, the, the minute they can grip them <laughs> and, and, and let them start scribbling. And, and he felt that computers should be that accessible. And so I, I'm a fan of the accessibility of computers. But but then then you raise an interesting question, you know, what what is computer programming like today that it wasn't like in the past? And and with objects we did have the sort of feeling that that you'd pull objects off the shelf and, and they would do things for you. And and uh I don't think there were ever the libraries in small talk that we expected to mm. form. Yeah. Uh, but you know the 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 CPAN library. You know Perl Perl put in just a little bit of objects into Perl, you know, with version five, and uh, they had a community, and they and they really took off sharing. Mm. And uh, you know uh, after that, the Ruby and the Ruby Gems, and 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 more recently, I think, you know, in, in a very amazing sense, is is uh, this uh, Node uh, NPM Node Package Management is. Uh, is startling in mm -hmm. in uh, how how people think of sharing in that environment. Mm -hmm. You know, we were pretty radical because we said, you know, a method in small talk in small talk should do one thing. Method do one thing. You know, if you if you, if you need to get two things done, make two methods and call each in turn with a third. And uh, you know, over time, people realized, well, a class should do one thing. You know, and and uh, now in 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 uh, in Node they say, well, you know, the whole package should do one thing. In fact, if the whole package is a single function, that's just fine. You know, mm -hmm. because it's small enough, it's hard to get it wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and uh, you know, I think there's a lot of wisdom in that. And and especially what it means is that sharing is so much easier today because of. Uh, Oh, sites like GitHub and 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 so forth that that uh, uh, that the most exciting work is happening in the open by people who just volunteer to do it. I think it's hard for even a big company to keep up with what all the volunteers in the world are doing. Mm. Uh, and, and and of course, you know, you the first thing before you use some volunteer software, you say, well, who are these volunteers? You know, and are they continuing to work on it, and, and are they supporting their own community? You know, you, you, you judge the community before you judge the software. Mm -hmm. yeah, and and uh, I think that uh, uh, shows a lot of sophistication. It shows what happens when you take all the computers in the world and hook them up together. Right. <laughs> I want to look a little bit forward. Um... Uh, now we looked a little bit into the past, but uh, you do work on a uh, a project. I don't know if you are still on it. Uh, that's that's some information I have. It's the smallest federated wiki. Mm -hmm. I've been working on that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, how do you? Uh, what is the smallest federated federated wiki in in your words? And what do you try to achieve? Because you had such a massive vision with the wiki, the original wiki. Um, what is the smallest federated all about? And what are the, what are well, the, 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 the most the most interesting uh, aspect of it. Well, first of all, I called it smallest, hoping that we could do it in a weekend, 
And the word smallest was to encourage us to not think too hard. And, and here, two years later, you know, we're, 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 we're getting near having something we can rely on. Mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, you know, so, so, so that aspect didn't turn out. But the, what, what's really going on, and, and this has to do with, uh, uh, you know, the, the web and the web browser is very different today. There's been this kind of jump, uh, that goes into the name HTML5. You, you can do things now that you just couldn't do three years ago. And that was certainly the original wiki showed up when there was a jump. You know, there was a lot of desktop computing, but there wasn't a web. And then all of a sudden there was a web. Mm-hmm. And and so wiki took advantage of the web. But the, the thing I can do with HTML5 that I couldn't do 18 years ago is that I can do the sharing in the browser. In in the original wiki, you'd, you'd have a disk and then you'd make a web interface to the disk. And, and all the sharing happened on that disk. People would all come to one site and uh, uh, collaborate. Mm. But what the Federated Wiki does is it says all the sharing happens in your browser. So if you want to share with five different people, you just invite, in a sense, all five into your browser and, and look at the work that all five are doing side by side and in, in pages. And, and, and you know, of course, the blogosphere has kind of been that way for, for a number of years. You know, you can read five bloggers with no problem. But right. but to be able to get it all on one page and especially do the editing and the refactoring and so forth, mm-hmm. you know, we just license all the content to be reused. And if I put something into the Federation, I, I, I expect you to grab it and call it your own. And if you do a really good job, I might grab it back and call it mine, too. Mm-hmm. You know, but it, it's, it's really more an attitude so, so the challenge with Federated Wiki was to make it feel like one place, even if it's spread over every computer mm. on the internet. Yeah, I mean the manifesto. Uh, one of the statements there is to promote face-to-face communication. But could this be a way of collaborating? Well, uh, I, I certainly see it as a as a way of sharing. Mm. Uh, you know, a lot happens face-to-face that that's pretty magical. And, and I would never want to discourage that. In fact, I would tell people, you know, the amazing thing about having this tiny little window into a, a, a wiki and that people would learn to trust each other by just how they type into that tiny little window. Yeah, not that that's, not that that's a good way to learn about each other and to learn to trust each other, but it just proves how much we want to communicate. Mm-hmm. It proves how, how little the software has to do to enable us to to understand each other. And and so it says more about people than it does about technology. Mm-hmm. So so my contribution has been to to leave out all the stuff we don't need. You know, it always irked me that, you know, if I wanted to comment on your work, I had to put the comments at the end. You know, well I wanna I wanna I want to comment on your work by just making it a little better, <laughs> yeah, that's right? True, and, yeah. and that's what Wiki, you know. So, so there was just some subroutines I left out, and mm-hmm. it made it better because because people really, really do want to collaborate. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is really, uh, this is really awesome. Uh, some really awesome insights here from you from a from a Wiki's perspective on all these implementations out there. I mean, the the two big Wikis, the Wikipedia. There's also WikiLeaks. Um, yeah. Is there is there anything out there like starting with wiki or ending with wiki or wiki in the middle, which you uh, said this is a wonderful implementation or good use of uh, of of the technology and your ideas? Something we might not know, and might you might know. Well, uh, you know, I, I I visit lots of wikis. You know, wikis become become just part of the the vocabulary of computer programming mm. and, and I, I think it's it's neat that uh, so many systems you you know you get an account and they say well here's how you use our site no if you need to collaborate here's a wiki too you know you just throw a wiki in with the you know with a mix and and that you can say wiki and it doesn't require much further explanation people say oh it's a wiki i know what to do mm. and that's uh, that's exciting and and then, and then people use the word now that they say, well, you know, we're going to have an open space, and it's kind of like a wiki, but in in the real world. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, so wiki is wiki has become a term that describes a a style of of uh, collaboration. And of course, then I think, well, what is that style? Well, it really means that 
that uh, that the, the, the strangers can get together, the right strangers. They find themselves in a place together, and they realize that they want to do something together, and they get it done. They get it done by kind of discovering each other's strengths and weaknesses in the moment and uh, uh, developing just enough trust. Trust that maybe, you know, that there's no real good reason to trust these strangers, but you just say, well, let's try it. And uh, and good things happen. I, I think that's what the word wiki stands for, is, right. is uh, uh, surprising productivity uh, among strangers. <laughs> that's an awesome definition. Uh, what you... Um you like the Portland or Oregon area. Um, you, uh, I, I checked on your website, and there's there's a lot of uh, uh, links to OO and design and object orientation and Wikia, obviously. But there's also one link to the uh, Kawia River. Yes, yes. So well, that was a it was a friend of mine who you know I I, I I moved to Oregon and I worked with a bunch of electrical engineers and mechanical engineers at the in a very technical savvy company at the time called Tektronix. They, they built the instruments that people used to build computers. And, and they were all amazing people. And, and, and you know, there, there, there were, uh, you know, of course, bicycles. You know, first thing they did is they said, well, you live in Oregon now, let's go buy you a bike. And, uh, and one of my bicycling buddies was, uh, you know, a two-time state champion uh, uh, racer. And, and, of course, when he wasn't racing, he was kayaking and, and, but but he's a technical guy, you know. So uh, mm -hmm. so he he has a Kawia River page. His uh, his folks uh, live down on the Kawia River, and 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 it uh, is nice mountain kayaking. Wow. So so he says, well, geez, you know, I'm trying to figure out this web stuff. And I said, well, you know, I've got this I've got this server. We can uh, we can put the uh, Kawia River pages up on the c2.com server. Of course, you know that was a long time ago, and 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 it turns out that. He's got lots of servers and stuff now. We've all figured out how to do the servers, but the uh, the domain name the, the, among the among the kayakers in in Central California, they know that c2.com yeah. is where you go to find out what's going on in uh, kayaking on the Kauia. <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm kind of proud of that. Oh. You know, I I stopped making that offer when I realized there were so many other ways to do it, but. Uh, but Bill is uh, is just an you know an amazing amazing guy and and uh, I just love the energy of uh, everything he does and I just wish I had a third of it. Oh wow! So it's not like you're kayaking yourself. You you. Uh, no no I'm a I'm a I'm a kayaker uh, kayaker wannabe. But I, I do I do love people with passion. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ward, for uh, taking uh, some time out of your day and um, you know speaking with me and the the rest of the audience listening to this uh, podcast. Um, just want to thank you, and uh, hopefully we see each other in New York uh, sometime in person, um, or maybe I'm coming out to uh, Oregon at some point. Well, you're, you're certainly welcome. We'll do. We'll record another edition, and and until then, I, I just want to remind everybody that 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 uh, uh, there's never been a better time to be a programmer. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bill. All right. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to Agile FM Radio. If you are interested in learning more about today's guests, past guests, or learn more about the upcoming program and future guests, please go to our website at agile.fm. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.